Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we're hanging out here on the Citadel server, which is my server of seven years old that we just finished the new iron farm on. It is functioning. We have dye, we have pink dye, we've got red dye, poppies, iron blocks, and there will be more coming in once the hoppers behind that fill up. Um, I was trying to think about a way to uh, to maybe make that go faster, but I can't really think of one. So right now, we're just having stuff like this uh, fill up slowly. So we've got backups, I guess. Certainly enough room beyond what's just hanging out here in the main area. And we also, of course, have the tidied redstone that we looked at yesterday. That's all nice and, and tidy. We can probably get rid of this, actually. So that's all good. And now, I think it's time to tackle the outside. This may require a beacon. Raid Ozad, Dan, Sweet Sandy, Obu, good to see everybody. Hope you're having a good day. Sunk Block Fallacy, welcome in. Thanks for the lurk. I may actually have to repair my pickaxe too. So outside, we have a different problem. We haven't finished decorating the back of this yet because I have yet to decide what's happening with this. I know we're not keeping very much of it because um, while this white box, the spawning box, is now no longer in contact with any ground, we're safe to say that the golems are spawning inside the water trap as they should. Uh, this is the detection area, the gray box, and that does clip the mountain, but because there's nothing from a golem that can spawn on the mountain, I'm really not too worried about it. My main issue with the mountain is that it's ugly and it doesn't really work very well with the, the farm design. So I'm thinking of cutting it off probably around here, maybe, uh, and certainly tapering this back so that it's it's more of a of a of a rock than than a giant mountain. Uh, I might want to try and keep the waterfall a little bit just because it does kind of look cool on the road, but for now um, we are going to start to get rid of some stuff. I may lean into some of the natural kind of holes and stuff and see if I can't keep a little bit of that. But I think most of this today is going to be removing the top layers and get everything down. I want to try and expose a little bit more of what's happening here on the moss farm, because I think that looks cool. And I feel like we could probably probably expose a little bit more of that. It would be nice to be able to see some of that maybe from this side as well, if possible. So we'll see what we can come up with. Mountain is too Minecrafty and too little Joel. Yeah, this was uh, 1.12 generation 2, so it's got some weird, weird kind of chunky things happening as well. So it's going to be pretty straightforward, I'd imagine. I should maybe grab my fortune pickaxe as well because I know that I was a little bit low on cobble. Yeah. Cobble. And we're full on stone, so that's going to be a problem. I'm going to have to bring a spare shulker for all the stone. And got dirt. Grass. And then I guess I'll grab a toolbox. Fortune. Use that one for a little bit. We're good for food and rockets. So really, it's just going to be a matter of um, taking this out. And what I should do is 35, 10, 
57 and 40. Maybe I should write that down. I have a sign in here? Yeah. I just want to see what happens while we're working in the area. Thirty five, ten. Stack in fifty seven and forty. Just to kind of see what yield we get. I think that should be fun. Now, a beacon is probably a good idea as well. So I should put that behind the whole thing. I think I've got one. thought I had a beacon. Where do I keep the beacon? Do I? That's so strange. I could have sworn I had one. I mean, I can make one. I've got another star. I wonder if they're in the modern city. Probably where I would have left them. I'm just going to check the nether just in case I've got something there. Nothing there. Weird. Maybe back at my little cabin, but like I said, I can always make one. Do you need another ender chest too? Oh, was there, there was there another spare ender chest in one of those nether chests? Yeah, I'll probably grab one. There's a spare shulker full of stuff I don't necessarily care about. My guess is that I just have to make one. Fair enough. Yeah, the one that I have is placed in the in the workroom at the farm, you're right. There might have been one in here. Oh, no, it was a smithing table.
obsidian, black coal, another star. I think I remember this off the top of my head. Now, I need to get some iron because I don't, I used to carry like a beacon box. It must be, it must be back in West Hill. It's all right, we've got lots of iron blocks I can just use from the farm here. I used to, yeah, I used to carry a gold box around because gold was so much faster to mine up. Anybody remember how many blocks you need for a beacon? It's three twenty eight. Twenty-four fifty-six, one sixty-four. More than enough, and it's nighttime. I might as well leave this out here somewhere. <laughs> Thanks to Google. Nice. So, where should we put the beacon? My guess would be probably somewhere around the back. Low down. But then it's going to be in my way. That's right, I'll just put it here. It should be fine. One more layer. It's been a while.
think that should be good. Cool. All right, let's take a look at this and give ourselves a, a mark. I really feel like I'm only going to go about two or three blocks up here. So I definitely need to go down as far as this. That's the first thing. I'm probably going to keep this little spike. Okay. Hopefully this won't take too long. It's weird how tasks like this are always a little nostalgic, I find. Reminds you of when you're really starting off in Minecraft and you have to gather a lot of materials or you just have to clear out an area for your build. I wanted to keep that spiky part. So I'll clean off there. Digging dirt is kind of relaxing. Yeah, I think sometimes I get tired of the sound, but you'll notice that my grass noise and my dirt noise is the same because the grass noise really grates on me after a while. So I've got a resource pack that changes the dirt, changes the grass noise to be also the dirt noise. There's something I really like about stripping off the dirt in Minecraft and just leaving the stone sometimes as well. You get some really interesting shapes and it can feel a little bit more um, dramatic. I find it just looks better too. I never thought I should have taken a before picture of the behind of the mountain. All right, so I know I'm going to at least here. Mostly mountains with stone don't have grass on top in real life. No, that's true. Yeah. We'll have like little patches, but the thing is you never see the dirt. You only ever see the grass usually. this one. This is a lot more easy on the senses, I think. The popping of stone rather than the crunchy 
static of dirt. Beacon was definitely a good idea. It's got a core of dirt. Hey, Justin Tunes. Week is going great. Thanks. It's been a busy week. Um, there's a new episode of the Citadel Cafe out right now, actually. I need to update the disc the um, the Nightbot link, uh, but it's published. That was yesterday. Johnny and I sat down and talked about the Rings of Power Season 2, Episodes 1, 2, and 3. Full of spoilers, but uh, I don't think anybody that's keeping track of that show is going to be behind at this point anyway. It's been out for a week. Episode 4 actually comes out today. So if you're interested in the Rings of Power, then check out, it's an almost two hour conversation. Uh, the first part we were talking about uh, video games and uh, Elden Ring and some other stuff like Lords of the Fallen, but uh, we eventually got on to talk about um, Rings of Power for a, a good 90 minutes, I would say. Uh, Justin Tunes? No, I mean Rings of Power. It is a great show this season. I think that people are just impatient. I didn't mind season one, but season two is good. Well, I officially have more cobble that I know what to do with. All right, we were low on um, some redstone components, so that will come in handy, I think. Yeah, I think I'm going to go down another four or five layers. And I think I'm going to cut this off. this uh that was one two three four five I have to keep a careful eye on my pickaxe here. I 
Now the good news is we've got a stone uh, bulk storage in the nether just inside the portal, so I've got a place where I can put all this stuff. I said I might want to keep that. I don't know. I think we could probably go down another three layers at least. Remember where this water is. Spare room in here, maybe? Yes. Weird that the chicken was looking at me right when I did that. Very strange. No, I don't think I'm going to have a tiny lake. I think I'm just going to um, have it be like a, a rock outcrop. You do forget sometimes just how satisfying it is to use a beacon. Reminds me of when I was mining out the witch, the witch farm, which would need to be redone because of 118. There'd be a lot more underneath it now. I'd have to relook and see that I've got the right mechanics for my my old witch farm. That, or maybe I'll make a new one in the sci-fi area. Although the sci-fi area is a mushroom island, so probably not a lot of witch huts nearby. So this I kind of want to keep some of it. I think it would be kind of cool if this was connected.
Surprised that these didn't fill up faster, the grass and the dirt. Super fast, hello, welcome in. Looks kind of fun. All right. How's this feeling? I feel like this might be as tall as I would want to make it at the peak. So, like somewhere in around there. Yeah, I think there's going to be a couple of things here. So where would I put the peak? Probably just a couple blocks in front of me. Don't break the pickaxe. No, it's got another. Oh, it's not showing me my. What's the hotkey for extended tooltips? It normally does. It's F three T. Nope. Resource packs. F three B. F three V. Nope. H. F three. Advanced tooltips. Thank you. Three twenty four. Aha, so here's what I was worried about. Now I don't think that's going to be a problem. All right, something's happening there. So I'll have to go check to see what those hoppers are doing. First, we'll put all the stone away. So I should just be able to put it all in here.
That's the one that goes up. Never mind. I guess that's the bottom one. So I guess I can put them in here. Do I need cobblestone back here anywhere. Also fill that chest up. Good. While we're in here, we'll go repair the pickaxe. Not sure what we're going to do with the new Minecraft uh, mechanics for minecarts with this space. I'll have to see. Oh, these guys just stay angry at me, I guess, now. Thought both Cosmic and I told you no flying in the nether. <laughs> Well, serves me right. I lost most of my face on the ground there. So, this happened yesterday before stream. Has everyone seen the trailer for the Minecraft movie? What do we think? Bally684, thanks for the follow, although I think that was a while ago. Am I missing alerts? Nope, should be good. Uh, the other thing I need to do is update the night bot. That's now fixed. Wait, Minecraft movie actually happening? Yeah, there's a trailer. There's a link in chat, Justin Tunes. It's only like, what, a minute and a half? Something like that. It's got uh, Jason Momoa, Jack Black, and I can't remember her name, but she played Wednesday's roommate in the Netflix Wednesday show with, um, is it Jenna Ortega? Can't remember the girl that plays Wednesday. But she played the werewolf roommate in Wednesday and she was fantastic. Emma Myers? I don't know. I if that's if that's who's in Wednesday, then yes, that's her. She had a blonde wig on, I think, in Wednesday, so I didn't recognize her at first. But she's a good actor. Emma Myers, cool. Yeah, no, I like her. I like her a lot. I don't know who the kid is. He could be just from any other, you know, probably like spy movie or something. Um, Jason Momoa is in a really awful wig. I don't, I, or at least he got highlights or something. It, he looks very strange. I, I don't understand the choices that they're making there. He's in like a pink tasseled jacket. Like I just, I need more context to kind of know what's going on.
but it's a weird mix of like the blocky aesthetic of Minecraft and realistic textures. So like the sheep is square, but has like skin and looks has like real teeth. It's it's an odd, 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 odd choice. It's very unsettling. I really thought that they were going to go the route of Super Mario Brothers and have like a full CG adventure. Like, don't make real people in it. Just just create some characters within Minecraft and have like an adventure story like Minecraft Dungeons or something. Uh, Ray Doza says you feel like Momo is supposed to be a weird, great character skin or something. Oh, so maybe Momoa is like playing a kid or something. Like Jumanji, where they have like avatars and stuff. Man, this... For an in the world, in the nether farm, this thing really pumps out the piglins. Not too bad. Now they're still mad at me here. Hopefully they won't be bad at me back at the portal. Piglin heads and rotten flesh. I wish there was something constructive we could do with rotten flesh. Oh, I don't need that anymore. I can just let that despawn. Why, oh, why didn't they make it fully animated? I don't know, Justin Tunes. Yeah. It's a really odd choice. We're going to be talking about it on Monday on the Spawn Chunks podcast for sure. Actually, I want to set up a bit of a poll in our Spawn Chunks Discord and see if we can get kind of like a community feedback set up before the weekend so that we can have at least some data points to point to. So I don't remember exactly when I set that up. Does anybody remember the timestamp on the stream when I set that up? Maybe I'll wait until after my break to check it. Minute long teaser is far from enough to give you any useful information. Yeah, that's also true. That's also true. What is going on here? That is weird. 11 past the hour. Thanks, Andy. Okay. Hmm. Huh. Right. So we've got this waterway down here. And it shoots things down there. 
and they get filtered out. And if they don't get filtered out, then they get spat out back here. So that just kind of goes around in a loop. Goes up over. Hits that, goes back into there. These are all filtered, so nothing would go in there that shouldn't go in there. And then it goes back outside again. So those stone blocks should probably just go in a circle. No, there's a hopper here. There's hopper minecarts underneath that. Right. So I've got four hopper minecarts, and they're over four one, two, three, four hoppers. And this goes into dropper and this is an auto dropper setup and they drop what should be all organics into composters but what's happening up there i'd imagine is that i've got stone Oh, why do I have redstone? Probably not good. That was the iron farm working. I was like, that sounds like the composters, but it's it's these composters over here that I just heard doing their thing. Does this still have the two die in it? Yep. Hmm. So I may need to cap this water stream briefly. And the easiest way to do that is just going to be to take probably pick up bucket there. That way, anything that goes in there is just going to flow around. I don't really have a plan for this hill. I'm kind of just going with the flow from the top here and we'll see what it looks like. I may have to get rid of this altogether. That or I'll just build a new hill over top of it maybe.
I think it'll be neat to have more of the moss farm workings visible. Oh, we've reached... what's this? Is the old portal? I guess? Yeah. Oh, this was a portal we were using to get villagers up here. That's what this is. So if I was just to focus on this side briefly... This go down, this would go down farther. Chicken is just laying eggs everywhere. Yeah, cleaning up old stuff too. There's going to be some, I think, some old, old work that needs to get tidied. I think that's looking pretty good. You can sort of see that just keeping that cool thing and then rounding this down. I don't know what I'm trying to do. This could be steeper, actually. And I kind of like this thing, but I think I might want to just replace some of the blocks. Because it's been pretty much untouched. It used to be a landmark, like it used to be, you know, turn left at the spiky rock thing is how we told people how to get the spawn. But then some of it, I don't want to keep. Like, I don't want any of this, so this is all going to go.
stream time is at the hour. Thanks very much, sweet Sandy. Appreciate it. I'll put the last little tops on this and then we'll take a break. And we can mess around with some other blocks up here too. Yeah, and there'll be like a little bit of a V here when you walk by. So we'll cut this down so you can see more of what's happening there. Maybe have another path that goes to the back door. All right, I take a break about once an hour, folks. If you're new to the channel, it gives me a chance to grab another cup of coffee. It gives you a chance to grab a friend. Maybe let them know that we're streaming. The uh, channel is trying to grow during September. Well, we're always trying to grow. But we've got 25% uh, off for the uh, one month and three month subs here on Twitch for the month of the September. Uh, and there's also some more promotions coming down the line as well. So I'm trying to stream more often. And if you like what I do, if you want to see more of it, then I would really appreciate it if you could spread the word. It's free to just tell friends and see how many people we can get in chat every day. I will see you in about five or six minutes.
Let's see if we can chop down the rest of this mountain. It is 10 after the hour, so we'll check. 39, that's up four. And then I've got 14, that's up four, that's good. That's up a lot more, that's up 24 and five. So it was 57 on the one stack. So 57, seven, 12. So which, how should I write this down? I just go back and um, change the original. So 64.57 is 111. And then this was something crazy. Um, probably just do the bottom bottom stack. That was 40, 48. I could probably just stick with 57. And then this would be five. So it's additional 12. Maybe I should record the differences. So this would be four. That would be four. That would be 12. And this was 40 on that stack, so it would be eight. So we're getting, no, that 12 is supposed to be in replace of that 14. So we're getting eight poppies, 12 red dye. It seems like a lot of red dye compared to poppies. And the fact that those are even as good and makes sense. But we're really heavy on the red dye. Yeah, the 14 was a different different number. I think we can probably have this be pretty steep all the way around. I 
haven't thought too much about this. J. Chris, hello. Things are going well. Thanks very much. I'm running out of room in my shulker boxes, but we've got lots of stuff. Still nowhere near the door. now. None of that, please and thank you. Oh, come on, silly, silly stairs. So I was thinking we can go a little steeper here. And maybe we can go down another three. Nice to see that you're not the only one that fills things in. Yeah, it's also helping my my inventory out a little bit too by just getting rid of the blocks. But yeah, I just, I don't know what it was. I think someone told me a long time ago that 
sometimes leaving spaces like that is just hard on the rendering. So I don't do it if it's going to be like a crazy amount of work, but sometimes it's just fun to do a little bit. Not so sure about this. At some point, I'm going to want it to turn into grass, I think. Really weren't hitting a lot of andesite or diorite until just now, which is good. There's the thunder. Yeah, I would agree, uh, J. Christ. It's not really obsessive. It's just I like attention to detail. I like to make things look nice, aesthetically pleasing. I feel like that's probably good. This feels like it needs a path. And then maybe we'll cut this down here as well. I just want it to be less square here, give it a little bit more room.
pretty good. Lothus, hello, welcome in. Uh, doing well, thanks. Just uh, doing a little easy landscaping, just kind of taking a stab at a few ideas outside of the iron farm. And like right away, I think we've got a, a sizable difference, right? I'm not crazy about how flat this part is. So I may want to have this be steeper. And the next thing I have to do is get rid of this chunk in the middle. I think one quarter of the mountain remains, so little landscaping? Yeah. Yeah, it's not going to be a ton. I'm not going to be super precious about it either, I don't think. I'll pay more attention to stuff like this that's right next to the road. Oh, that reminds me, I wanted to put that water back. So we've lost the whole waterfall thing here, which is fine. Yeah, this could very square. So up top, this chunk I think needs to go down another layer or two. Decide what I'm going to do with this redstone, or not redstone, but like farm guts. I feel like I have a ceiling inside that I may want to maintain. All right, so there's the ladder. Something I think is really nice about the tools in Minecraft is that if you've got things like logs or other materials around, you can go crazy with your pickaxe and dirt and logs just won't mine fast enough for you to accidentally destroy them. Which is nice.
Oh, we've got some cobblestone. Obviously, it was a hole we filled in at some point. This is where the villagers were coming out, I think. Uh, one, two, three, four. Go down one more. Or a lot more. So the idea that I had was to, to go down five blocks and then come out again, but maybe we have to go a different. Yeah, I think this has to be brought back a bit, still very flat. Ah, but then we run into the inside. We gotta be careful there. Yeah, I think I need to change the taper on this top part a bit. It needs to be steeper in the front. So here, maybe... Still feels very flat though. I don't really do a lot of big, like, mountainscaping. When I have, it's always been stuff that's been mostly just kind of like filling in existing landscapes rather than removing landscapes. Usually fixing holes that I think look dumb. The old inventory is full. Time for a trip to the nether, I think.
Oh, that was top of my ladder. And I remember there was more up here, yeah. Floating blocks. that help at all? Sort of. A little bit better. A little bit better. Yeah, I wanted to see more of the sorting for the moss farm. I wanted to see, I think what I like about the moss farm. Oops. I like, I like that you can see into it, but you can see into it from the side where no one walks by, which is weird. So I was thinking about having another one of these like glass decoration bits, but I'll put it over here and maybe we can include this water thing. Because essentially what happens is the moss farm puts out stuff that's it's too much for the hoppers. The hoppers get filled out and then this goes around the corner here and then this gets turned. Anything that doesn't go into the hoppers for sorting gets turned into bone meal, but we don't run the farm very much. So you don't see it as often. The idea was that it was supposed to be a fail safe for if the server, if the farm was running all the time. I thought that was supposed to go faster, but I guess it's only at the start. You get so used to shulker boxes in the late game, you forget just how much room there is in the double chest. remember whether my andesite chest that I have back at the base is full or not. That's empty. That's good. I don't know where I keep on picking up the redstone dust, which is a little bit sketchy. <laughs> Not crazy about that. I'm hoping I haven't removed any redstone dust from the moss farm. I don't think I have. So I think what I'd like to do here is remove a lot of the dirt.
Oh, that's not good. Water elevator. Need some stone. Right, because this is open. I think it would be cool to see see some of this, right? Because this is where they come up. Yeah. That's not even the cool part. that water ice okay right so that has to stay there And this was just like the back end. Asians coming in with the raid. Hello, welcome in. Hope you're having a fantastic day. What are we up to on stream? Folks, just coming in with the Ancients Raid, if you're new. My name is Joel Duggan, and I uh, host the Spawn Chunks podcast. I stream here on Twitch. We're uh, pushing on September, as a lot of, I think, creators are. Trying to up the sub count. And there's a new Spawn Chunks podcast out this week, and a new Citadel Cafe podcast out this week. Spawn Chunks was the latest snapshot, and Citadel Cafe is about Rings of Power Season 2. Ah, okay, so there's the ceiling there, too, so that has to stay there. There's a certain level where we start to encroach on the inside. looking yeah i think we can i think we can work with that we can start to add a little a little bit in there and that's not too bad i do want to make this feel a little bit better so we might have to go inside and make some changes it's certainly better than it was before i have obviously not spent much time on the back side of it that's fine
I think one of the traps you get sucked into in Minecraft when you're doing stuff like this is making um, staircases when really what it needs to be is is steeper. Looks a lot more like real cliffs when there's some serious drop-offs and stuff. Although, like I said, we do have some restrictions. Still feels kind of close. I'm not sure if I like that or not. We still have this weird square bit back here. And that may... Well, these ones I don't think we can move, but this we can probably trim up. It might help to start to think about what I'm going to do with the moss farm as well. Cool. Well, unfortunately, that's all the time that I have for today. However, I will, of course, pass you on to somebody else play in Minecraft. Just decide where the waterfall is going to start. Running. Oh, on the back. Yeah, totally. That is definitely happening. Uh, let's send you along to Exumavoid, who is playing on Hermitcraft, doing the Mace Race build, it looks like. I think you'll enjoy your time there. Thanks ever so much for hanging out this afternoon, folks. If you want to check out the Spawn Chunks podcast and the Citadel Cafe podcasts, they are both free. They are new this week. Both have new episodes. And we will, of course, be back tomorrow. That's Friday. One o'clock Atlantic, that's UGC minus four hours. We'll start off with some Lego and probably a little bit of Satisfactory. I'll have to see what's going on with my day tomorrow. But it looks like we'll be getting down to the wire now. We've got only a few more days until Satisfactory 1.0 drops. I believe that's noon my time on September 10th is when uh, Satisfactory comes out. I should look that up. Um, but it is going to be a busy, busy week next week. There's going to be a lot of satisfactory streams and probably some streams at times you're not used to, but that should be uh, should be good. I don't think I'm... I, I know I'm going to, not going to start over. I'm going to attempt to keep my save, but I'm also going to try maybe a new save to get a little bit of the story. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, anyway, follow me on Twitter, on Instagram, at Joel Duggan. Very easy to find. If you want to support the stream, subs are 25% off for the month of September. And of course, you can always check out patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. It's one of the best ways to support your favorite creators over there on Patreon. And it is less than a cup of coffee a month. And it really helps me out a lot. I really appreciate it. Sweet Sandy, thank you for being fantastic today and modding. I really appreciate it. And we will see you all tomorrow. Bye for now.